pick an outfit and we'll guess who boobies. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be doing a load of different quizzes about different random things that I didn't even know existed. I'm going to be doing these quizzes on BuzzFeed, I go on this a lot because there's loads of different quizzes about stupid things and like one of them I'm going to be doing today is the type of bread you eat can guess the name of your uncle or something like that. So yeah, I might do two or three, maybe four, I don't know how long they take. There's one I really want to do which is about something you do tells you how tall you are. So I'd like to see if it gets my height right. But anyway, yes, let's get into this video. No more talking. Yeah! So yeah, you can see I'm recording my screen and let's see which ones we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and find the one about the uncle and the bread. There it is. Oh wait, no. I think I mixed up two. There's one here which is about your taste in bread will reveal a deep truth about you and also, where's the uncle one? I can't find it, I think I just made up a quiz. I don't know where I got that from. Where is it? So yeah, let's just get into this one about the deep uh, secret about myself. Choose a bread, country white, maple rye, whole wheat, or sourdough. It's between whole wheat and country white for me, and at the moment in my life, I'm enjoying some whole wheat. What is the best loaf shape? Baguette, no. Definitely just a Pullman loaf. Didn't even know what that was the name of it. Blah. Choose the best free chain restaurant bread. Well, this is America, so I don't know any of these. I don't know, Olive Garden breadsticks. Choose a bread. Brioche, shala, potato bread, multigrain bread. It's like the same as the first one. Potato bread, I've never had. Let's go with multigrain again. Choose one of these bread items. Garlic bread, oh yes. Cornbread, croissant, dinner rolls. Garlic bread. Choose a bread centric meal. Avocado toast, burger, grilled cheese, pizza, French toast, Reuben sandwich. Hmm. Is pizza really bread? I like French toast. I love pizza, but French toast, they're like so different. Pizza. Choose a bagel. Oh, I love bagels. Sesame, plain, cinnamon raisin, everything. Ah, oh, it's between sesame and plain. Plain. Has to be classic. You got feel like you don't deserve things. When you achieve things and you get what you work hard for, you often feel like an imposter or worry and people will figure out you don't really belong. This is, of course, all in your mind. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means, so let's just go on to the next quiz, which is gonna be... Pick an outfit and we'll guess, ooh, boobies. Pick an outfit and we'll guess your exact age and height. So let's do it. Pick your footwear. Dress, shoes, canvas, sneakers, heels, boots, crocs, open toed. Oh, there's more. Sneakers, high top sneakers, flats, flip flops, boat shoes, toe shoes. I would have to say I'm, a, I'm feeling sneakers. Oh my God, why is it going so bright all the time? Calm down, there's so many clouds outside. Pick a bottom. Skirt, jorts, cargo shorts, plaid shorts, mesh shorts, jeans, sweatpants, khakis, leggings, uh, jeans, jeans all the way. Pick a top, blouse, crew t shirt, v neck t shirt, dress shirt, sleeveless shirt, polo shirt, graphic shirt, long sleeve shirt, jersey. Well, it depends. If I'm going out, I'm wearing a dress shirt. If I'm just a regular day, I'd probably wear a t-shirt and a jumper. Well, judging what I'm wearing today, it's a t-shirt. So I'm gonna go for a t-shirt. And then pick a layer. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, hoodie, cardigan, sweatshirt. Would I wear that one? No, I'd probably wear a zippy one. Yeah, zip up, or would I? See, again, it depends on the day. I'm gonna go for a zip up. Pick a hat. I love hats. Fedora, baseball cap, flat cap, cowboy hat, visor, bucket hat, beanie. Has to be beanie every day of the week. What type of watch are you wearing? I don't really wear watches, so no watch. You better watch out. Any jewelry? No. You got 18 years old and five foot seven. Age? Very close, because I'm 19. Height? Way off. Five foot seven, I'm six foot five. That's a huge difference. That's nearly a foot. You know what, Quiz? You don't know me all there. You don't know me all there. A new phrase I'm trying out. Okay, and I think we should just do one more quiz to end it off. This one sounds interesting. Only a true crime expert can get more than 7 out of 10 on this quiz. Let's see if I'm a crime expert. That's what I do in my free time. Break into banks. Break into... What other things people break into? How would Ted 
Bundy usually lure women to his car. First of all, who is that? What are the options? By offering them a lift, by that wording, a uh, disability or injury, by pretending to be a salesman. The salesman thing I'm not feeling, but also look what he's wearing. The injury one, that's smart. Lift could sound dodgy, like women wouldn't really get into a lift with someone if they said, do you want a lift? So I'm gonna go with the disability injury. Correct, whoa, yo! Oh man, I'm a crime expert. Oh, all these people have no idea who they are. What was John Wayne Gacy, Gassy, known as? The Night Stalker, the Killer Clown, the Highwayman. Straight off the bat, I'm not feeling Highwayman. It's either Killer Clown or Night Stalker. And I'm gonna go for, we're going for a clown. Yes, the boys! No way, I'm dead. This is a bad sign. If I'm good at this, who was the main subject of season one, the podcast, or of the podcast serial? Don't know what this is. Stephen Avery, I know he's from the Kill a Murderer, or Making a Murderer, so it's not him. Amanda Knox, uh, Ad Adnan Saeed. Adnan Saeed, that sounds familiar. But I'm gonna go for Amanda, but it's always been the middle one. So I'm gonna go for Adnan. What a guess. This is madness. Oh my god, I'm deadly at this. How was Jeffrey Dahmer caught? No idea. One of his intended victims escaped and notified the police. Too boring to be the right answer. A neighbor complained about a foul smell coming from his apartment. That sounds juicy. He tried to solicit sex from an undercover officer. The bottom two sound like it could be true. I'm gonna go for the neighbor complaint. Ah, oh, no, it was the first one. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, it's okay, because I can get three wrong and still be a crime expert. The Green River Killer used to do what with the bodies post-murder? Let's see his face. What sort of guy is he? Embalm them, have sex with them, dismember them. Ooh. I'm going to say no to the first one again. Have sex with them, dismember them. Dismember them just sounds cool. Ah, no, have sex with them. Ah, damn it, should have known. Sharon Tate, brutally murdered by the Manson family, was wife of which famous director? Okay. James Cameron, Stanley Kubrick, Roman Polanski. I don't know Roman Polanski, so I'm gonna say uh, Stanley. Go for Stanley. Damn it! Ah! Roman, for God's sake! That's the three wrongs. So I've got to get all the rest right now if I want to be a crime expert. What was the name of the murdered family depicted in Truman's Truman Capote's in cold blood. Okay, what? Oh, there's only two choices. Clutter, Williams. Quick answer, Williams. Damn it! No! That was so close, for God's sake. So now, now I'm just not a uh, crime expert. Who lived at the dress 25 Cromwell Street? Uh, the Yorkshire Ripper, I'm gonna guess, because I know that's in England. Damn it! Fred and Joe, Fred and Rose West, who the hell are they? How many years did Stephen Avery serve in jail before he was exonerated? 10 years, 14 years, 18 years. I watched the star of that show. I'm gonna go for 18 years. Yes! 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 Which serial killer is this a sketch of? Okay. Long Island serial killer. Zodiac. Oh, Zodiac. Wait, no one knows. What was the story about Zodiac? No one knows what he looks like, but I think that's it. Yes! Step the boys. I got 5 out of 10 right. You know a bit about crime cases, but not loads. Probably listen to the odd podcast or two, but you don't obsessively follow cases, and you certainly don't hold on to specific facts. Well, thank you. So that's it, guys, for this week's video. Now you know what sort of bread I like, what sort of outfit I'd wear normally, even though it gives you the wrong height. Hmm. And you know that I'm not a serial killer, crime expert, whatever. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, then leave a like, comment if you'd like to see more of these sort of videos, and subscribe if you'd like to see a new video like this every Monday. Bye.